Hello, my name is Mayank and this is my construction project management uh, project using Primavera P6. So this is the building plan for which we are uh, uh, designing the activities, designing the activities and using the PPM method. These are the quantity of different item works that are performed. Relation between the activities, network diagram source calculation for calculating the resources we have used the is code 7272 uh, for one day using the table one for one day the given labels constant are these for one meter cube so for 69.12 meter cube quantity of labor for the excavation work has been found out to be three and must be 35 must be and three minutes resource calculation for the uh, wardle putting is done similarly and these are the resource calculation so resources for different quantities are this as you can see for different activities mason number of minutes must be whiskey mixer operator mixer vibrator and these are for number of days only one so as you can see the variation is too much we have assigned an optimum value for these different of different type of measures and uh, material and non labor so the number of days for each labor or mater uh, material or non labor is defined as number of uh, total number of labors original number of labors divided by the optimum number of labors so by this we can calculate the number of working days so these are the resource allocated standard trades use seven problem so this is the project i have made using primavera p6 professional rating For showing you, I am opening it again. So, this is the project port portfolio I have defined construction project, and uh, construction project in this I have defined a project named residential building. Opening the project. And as I as you can see, I have defined the work breakdown sector as sub sector and super sector. So coming back to the activities, I have defined uh, some activities for the sub sector such as excavation, cuboidal footing, construction, trapezoidal part of the footing and columns. Now for super sector, clean bin, clean level flab, wall. 115 mm wall top beam with flap this, this, this and as you can see this is the GAN chart and I have defined the number of days start date and date the this I have defined the resources of each activities as you can see Excavation activity has no predecessor, but is as a successor and the model putting. The predecessors of these activities all are defined. Then I have defined the resources. As you can see in the resource tab, I have defined it. The sources mason made must be the rates 120 80. And so on. Then coming back to activities. Then I have assigned the resources using this assign key resources. As you can see in the resource tab, I have assigned resources for each activities as per the problem. Then 
after assigning I have defined the number of resources which are used as you can see 3 per day, 1 per day, 10 per day for each activity then then uh, after defining the resources and the number of resources we can schedule the process using this key the schedule date is this then after scheduling you can see and then I have created a baseline using this tab maintaining baseline I have created this and this I have then I have assigned my baseline like this then I have updated my resources project using this key as you can see after updating uh, first my initial date was 11th of May 2020 and after updating I have uh, updated after the 6th day so you can see this is the after updating uh, these are the activities which have been completed as you can see the excavation part is completed in the general tab status tab as you can see the status 100% completed and divided I have defined it for 70% uh, it was almost completed before the take of computing the cost performance I have changed the and uh, schedule performance index I have changed this to 70 percent and that's it um, so as you can see this is the project report I have generated using the project wizard option in the primavera p6 so as you can see I have chosen the these many options for columns, activity ID, activity name, and so on. So, as you can see, this was my completed project, and this is one is my in progress project. And these are for the sum of the columns which I have used to generate a project report.